Good morning, and let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that they might be acceptable in thy sight, and glorify thee, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Uh, the reading that I'm sharing with you today is from Romans chapter 15, verses 1 through 7, from the King James Version. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves, that every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification, for even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may be with one mind and one mouth, glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Here ends the reading. St. Paul seems to have had to remind people on occasion to be like-minded, to be there for others, to consider the needs of others, even as Jesus put us before his own suffering, before his own life. It can be very tiring to see the selfishness in this world. The ego does not glorify God. It seeks to glorify itself. Selfishness does not glorify anyone, not the person, and definitely not God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, fill us with the Holy Spirit, with the spirit of love, that we might glorify you in all that we say and think and do. We ask this in the name of one who loves us so much that he suffered and died for us, for our sins, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.